Hey guys, welcome to your general reading for Capricorn. This is going to be for your June 2024. You can apply this to uh, any of your placements. We're going to take a look and see what you, uh, what's good that's coming in for you guys for June. And I'm going to finish off for you to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations. Uh, uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you need to take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective, um, for the collective, uh, Capricorn people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to, uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. Tell me about uh, Capricorn. What's good coming in for Capricorn for June 2024? What's good coming in for Capricorn for June 2024? for Capricorn, for Capricorn. So we have the Wizard of Awareness, we have Dry Desert, we have Bone Collector here, wow. You know, I, I, I feel like your guys' vessel is just so pure because I feel like you guys are able to make anything happen, okay? And I feel like your consciousness and your awareness is just kind of like, and beyond what anyone can imagine, you know, because I feel like Capricorn, you have done a lot of deep inner work on yourselves here. You know, some of you guys could be in the middle of it right now or that it's continuing. Okay, we have movement, we have slow and steady, and then we have goblins here, okay? You could be asked right now to be, you're being asked right now to take your time. Don't rush, okay? I do feel like you are being guided by nature here, okay? Uh, perhaps, you know, nature's creatures here, such as goblins, okay? They're watching out for you here. Uh, you know, sometimes, you know, goblins can be seen as a negative thing here, but sometimes I feel like they could be good, you know? You know, they could be tricksters here too, but I, I do feel like you're being watched here in a way, in a good way, or that you're being guided here, all right? What else? Do you, and then we have flying on the bottom of the deck here. So it could be that things are changing or that you guys feel like you are soaring. Interesting, you guys could be, at, you, you guys, some of you guys might like have the ability to actually travel here, uh, Capricorn. What else do we have here for Capricorn? What else is Capricorn need to know? Look out for work for June, for June 2024 for Capricorn. For Capricorn. Oh, jeez. Hold on one sec. Ugh. It's so sunny. It's like, like the sun is setting here soon, but yeah. We have the Ten of Swords here in the world. Seems like there's a cycle, a tough cycle that's ending here. Okay, let's see what else we have. We have the Chariot and the Queen of Wands. Seems like you guys are taking charge in a way. Some of you guys are really into like magic and witchcraft and stuff like that. I feel like you guys are really good at that, good at that, or that you guys are getting into that. Interestingly enough, I feel like some of you guys are getting into coffee grind readings or tea leaf readings here. Okay, uh, what else do we have here for Capricorn? Oh, we have the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy, and then we have the Ace of Swords. Well, Capricorn, you're about to have some sort of major breakthrough here. This breakthrough is completely going to change your life in a huge way here, okay? So, if you have been doing some deep inner work here, okay, there's movements happening here. You know, I do feel like there are some tough cycles that are closing out for you guys. And I feel like you guys are moving to a place where I feel like things are kind of like steady here and calm, all right? So, let's see. An ending a, a relationship, could it be leading through, through this uh, leading 
to this breakthrough here. Dry desert, you guys are spending time alone here. You know, I feel like you guys are, uh, you know, clearing out your vessel or that you guys could be purifying yourself from the past relationship that was really damaging. You know, I feel like, uh, you know, your awareness has been heightened here because of that, okay? Um, I wouldn't say that you guys are hyper vigilant, but I just feel like you guys are aware of what's coming into your inner circle, what's coming into your energies, and what you allow, what you don't allow, all right? We have the chariot here. The chariot. Why is a chariot here? Tell me this chariot. The chariot and the five of pentacles here. The queen of wands and the four of swords. The tower and the six of pentacles. The ace of swords. Jeez, uh, that was a mosquito. Sorry, you guys. Uh, Six of Pentacles in the tower. You know, this could be an indication that you guys have been focusing your energy on rebuilding your tower here. Yeah, you guys could have had a, a major tower moment, and these this tower moment, the tower moment here, led to some sort of major breakthrough here for you guys, uh, Capricorn. What else do we have for, for Capricorn? What else do we have for, for Capricorn? What else do we have for, for Capricorn? What else does Capricorn need to know? Five of Wands and the Ten of Cups in the Moon. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Hold on one second, you guys. This mosquito is really annoying. Oh, it just bit me. <sighs> I can't even... Okay. I don't know. Let me just finish up the read at least. Okay, we have the five of wands and the ten of cups here. You know, I do feel like there's some there has been some sort of conflict that you've been going through here, and I feel like you could be finding resolution in that conflict by walking away from it. Okay. Could be a family situation here. You know, could be, uh, you know, yeah, it could be some sort of family situation. So some sort of relationship here, like I said earlier, with the two of cups and the six of cups here. Yeah, there could, be, could have been a major betrayal where I feel like because of this betrayal, it's leading you to some sort of like major breakthrough here. Okay. And that, you know, uh, and that you're feeling more clear than you were ever before about something here that you've been going through. Okay. So um, Capricorn. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. Hold on one sec. I'm so itchy here. Oh my God. Uh, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks guys. Bye. I'm so sorry about the mosquito. So I don't know if this is like a sign that there's something bothering you that you need to clear up here. Okay. Bye.